What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 16 video. Today we have ourselves a card game for, <coughs> excuse me, throwback uh, Darren Sproles going up against the 95 overall. Now this is pre-patch, so B gap should come in screaming unnecessarily for absolutely no reason. Cause hey, it wasn't patched. They allowed us to do it. <laughs> So, uh, going up against the 95 overall team, definitely very high overall. So, and this is my first time playing him. So, got to try my best to, uh, you know, stop whatever it is he likes to do. Right there, he runs right into LT. I think this is before we got Suggs. Yeah, this is a little bit ago. Like I said, I only have a few more wagers left. Uh, right there, he uh, ends up getting stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And fourth and three, something that not too many people would do. He's going to go ahead and punt the ball. Uh, not too many people do that in that situation. In wagers, it's like you got to bring everything. You know, um, you're obviously you have something on the line, and we throw a beautiful dot to a wide open OBJ. Uh, you know, when you when you're playing against somebody for, you know, uh, coins or cards, like you you got to do everything it is you can to win. That's allowed in the game. Everybody has their certain uh, rules implemented. Like some people, if you're playing a streamer or whatever, some people will say you can't chew clock. You can't um put any d lineman in a zone or a spy and there's a lot of different rules out there you know but as long as you play within those rules you got to do everything you can do to win right there we throw whoa, whoa look, look at jenny arroz look at jenny rice though oh man that was beautiful right there man jerry rice coming through so uh definitely a very 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 beautiful play right there so uh, here we go back again on defense, and we definitely feel like we are one stop away from going on ahead and putting this game away. We feel confident on offense, and where I least feel confident is defense. So if we can go on ahead, get ourselves a stop, then you know we'll feel good. We'll go up uh, multiple possessions. Oh well, we'll extend our multiple possession lead. Allow me to say. So right here, he goes on ahead and um, gets a big, big, big play right there. Uh, up the run right there, up the middle. And, uh, you know, a handful of yards right there. So this is where I struggle the most is stopping the run. You know, as long as I can do that, make you one dimensional, then I feel like it'll just get me a, a hopefully a, an easier job of being able to stop you. Because if you can run the ball successfully on me, I'm going to be honest, I'm in, I'm in trouble. Because then, you know, that allows you to mix it up, which is why I feel like my simplistic as offense does okay is for the fact that I'm a run heavy guy. And when you run, 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 um, you know, it, it's hard to really prepare for uh, everything that's in the playbook. If I keep myself in easy, manageable, you know, short situations, we go deep up top and go uh, right over the top over there towards the left to Vincent Jackson. So this, this lets you know how long ago this game was. We got uh, Vincent Jackson on the squadron still. Glad I got rid of him because he is the worst towards the sideline right there jumping the route was Deion Sanders coming through and he hits the nene like a bounce. So uh, now we're up 28 to three and we definitely feel like, you know, game is, is gonna be over at this point. So uh, what do you guys think of uh, the patches? Are you guys, you know, happy with it? You know, I haven't really been uh, putting in as much time as I would have liked to in the game recently. I found one blitz maybe an hour and a half after the game came out. I mean, the patch came out after that. I haven't really touched it. I haven't really done any labbing or anything like that. But uh, we already know there's some heat out there already screaming. And um, I'm sure everybody's been... Uh, well, maybe maybe I'm not sure. But hopefully you guys haven't been facing as much heat as it was before. Because before, the only problem was... As we get a safety right there against us. The only problem was that um, you had to deal with really easy setups. Like... Dime flat and four six normal and nickel strong. It was literally pinch the line, crash the line. That's it. That's all you had to do, and it was dual B gaps. Like you didn't have to do anything else. You pinched, you crashed your line, and that was it. And if you had fast enough D lineman, you were screaming. And uh, unless it was a play action or under center, it was coming in majority of the time. So you could set up a blitz with nothing. Like now. Uh, at least the blitz I found is kind of a small bit of adjustment you got to do. You know, it's a little bit more than, you know, pinch and crash, you know. So, um, hopefully, you know, there's nothing as easy as, you know, setups as pinch and crash. At least that's what I'm hoping for. 
Like, I mean, let there be blitzes, but, you know, give the offense an opportunity to get a quick hike out there. You understand what I'm saying? Go on ahead and hike the ball before we, he could get set up. Because before, like I said, mostly everybody was running dime flat or some type of dual B gaps. And when they did that, it was, um, <coughs> it was so easy to come in because it was so easy to do, you know, and like it was really difficult to hike the ball before they got set up. So he goes to the screen right here. Oh my God. Did he just lower his shoulder and completely run over me like that? Like, damn, man, we're supposed to be boys, man. You are just making me look bad, running me over and whatnot. The hell is going on here, man? But anyways, as you can tell, the game is coming to an end. And we went ahead and win, and we are victorious on this dinner of Sproles, which didn't go for much. You know, um, usually uh, you can kind of tell before the game starts, like, who's confident about playing you and who's not. Like, Darren Sproles was going for, like, I don't know, 35K or something like that. And uh, I, I just could tell, like, that's what he wanted to play for. So, you know, just seemed like he wasn't too confident in his ability to win. Seemed like this was a situation where he just wanted to get a wager in uh, so he could play a game. Not really a situation where he probably felt like he could win. Because, uh, yeah, just because of the low wager that was up there. But nonetheless, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I think I only got like a, a handful of wagers left <coughs> that are pre-patched. And then everything after that is going to be uh, post patch with no gameplay. So, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Man, follow me on Twitter if you guys do not already. Greatly appreciate that. I love all you guys. Truly appreciate the support from each and every single one of you guys, man. I really do. Um, you know, just can't thank you guys enough for changing my life, man. It's your boy GS. We're going to go on here and be signing out. Peace!